The 1993 Disney movie Hocus Pocus is the story of three witch sisters who were executed in Salem in 1693 and returned to create havoc 300 years later on Halloween. It is more than a classic, it is a cultural touchstone. Moderately successful on its first release, it became a phenomenon on home video and cable and is now an annual tradition for many families, with parents who loved it in the 90s sharing it with the next generation. Disney hit just the right spot between spooky and silly, with Bette Miller, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najimy as a sort of witchy three stooges. Midler's Winifred was the mo like short temper dream leader, Parker was a fluttery, curly like scatterbrain named Sarah, and Najimi was Mary, the Larry of the trio, never quite making anything work, but sure that she's nailing it. Nearly 30 years later, Pocus Pocus 2 should make fans of all generations happy, paying tribute to the original and adding some gentle updating and some welcome diversity, subtracting some violence. It is also a little bit sweeter. The adult cast from the first movie includes always terrific Doug Jones, the brilliant actor behind The Creature in the Shape of Water and Abe and Hellboy, as the hapless zombie Billy Butcherson. Welcome new additions include comic powerhouses Tony Hale and Sam Richardson and all-around powerhouse Ted Lasso's Hannah Waddingham. The first movie was about the relationships between brothers and sisters, with a little teen romance, this one is about friendship. And we get a bit of an origin story. After an aerial opening shot referring back to the original Hocus Pocus, we see the Sanderson sisters as young girls. First, we see the pilgrim community scurrying out of the way as Winnie stomps furiously through the town. Young Winnie is played by Taylor Henderson, complete with wild red hair and buck teeth. Her witty rendition of Midler's Alpha which is sharp and funny, 